Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough Croctopus Chase. No bonus areas as usual from an underwater one. Oh hey, there's Squidge. That's a new enemy. You get to kind of see its movements, sorta, kinda. And here's the chase. Whenever you enter their territory of sorts, I, I, it's not a very large territory. They come after you. They try and chase you away, and that's the idea. Oh, Squidge. And there's a there's a bunch of different ways Squidge can move. So you gotta kind of observe that. And I I missed the banana bunch. Whatever, whatever. I'm fine with that. I've got enough lives. I'm just gonna focus on focus on survival here, I guess. Uh, I think there's an on guard popping up somewhere. I I, I don't remember. It, it, there's a little opening basically wherever on guard is, if I recall correctly. If this is the stage I'm thinking of, I mean. Uh, go 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 go. I'm not holding the Y button, by the way. As I said, the Y button is useless. Um. All right. There's a little hidden thing here. If you go like, uh, where is it? No, not there. It is... Where is it? Uh, oh, wait, 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 there it is, there it is, yeah. You zip around here, and you can get the letter O there. As you can tell, it's just like a little, just dead-end place more than anything, and actually, you know what I should do? Why were those barrels flashing, by the way? I don't know. I don't know if you could tell they were even flashing um, in the video editor, because I, I don't know how many... Uh, frames per second it flashed at so yeah because you know how uh, PC gaming just kind of fluctuates and I'm on an emulator so yeah uh, checkpoints okay oh maybe on guard isn't in this one maybe I was thinking of a different one is that the safe one yeah it is a safe one okay I was, I was gonna say I had a choice there 50 50 Ooh. All right. Oh, jeez. I'm glad I'm keep moving here because everything, everything seems to be coming after me now. I'm gonna go around this way because I think there's yeah there's a prize there, and I think it despawns, so I don't have to worry about it now. Uh, yeah, I was right. Isn't? No, not there. <laughs> I thought there might be. Oh, that was close. Might have been a secret there, but nope, nope. I love how slow you go when being shot through the barrel cannons underwater. That's a nice touch. Whoop. Whenever there's an opening, I always like to dive for it, or I should say swim to it, because that could mean the difference between a hit and not a hit. Well, unless there's something that's in that cubbyhole place. Who <laughs> like that? If I would have went in one of the upper or lower areas there, that would have caused me to do a hit. But I just followed the bananas, I followed my nose. And there we go. Uh, are you still following me? I don't know if you are or not. Well, there's another one that's gonna follow me, I know that. <laughs> oh, here's- this is where On Guard is. Yes, yes, it is this, this stage that I was thinking of. No, 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 you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. <laughs> Over here, there it is. I was right! It's not that hidden of an area, it's just that it's, you know, it's very tight looking coral, so it, it's semi camouflaged in a way. And on guard just makes it so much easier as you would expect because of the power of dashing and being able to run into stuff, you know, like all those little quick trap things that you gotta twitch to get away from, and yeah. Um, oh, squidge area! <laughs> that's that's one way of doing it is just to mash through them with uh, on guard and uh, there we go pretty easy not too difficult yes yes despite being going through all those other levels anyway cranky's cabin I guess it, it just feels a whole lot easier compared to the other ones I should say is it rhino country well you got a rhino in that crate over there don't you Oh, you're repeating yourself here? That's just sad. Oh man, Cranky. I thought you had more words of wisdom than that. You probably do, though. It's just, there's a randomizer involved in this somewhere. <laughs> mm, uh, yeah, that's true. There were no save battery thingajiggers. You know, whether it's actually battery backed or if it was, uh,. Um, flash memory, and it wasn't a thing, but it became a thing at Zelda 1. <laughs> and, yep, basically repeating yourself. I'm, I'm so sad. I, f I figured... <sighs> I, I feel like walking away, because I just can't take anymore of just 
seeing more, but alas, I'll just wait to see if there's more. I'm not that stuck, though. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Alright, Torchlight Trouble is the first level where Squawks makes the deb debut. Yeah! It's entirely possible to play this level without Squawks and everything like that, but it just makes it a lot easier. <laughs> And, uh, you probably want to be as Donkey Kong for the clomps, yo, for clomps here, but chances are you're gonna take a hit somewhere from the oil drums. Probably. Maybe, or maybe some enemy, who knows, or, you know, I'll, I'll just go right into a hole, because I don't react to it in time, that, that'll work too. <laughs> but yeah, you can see there's all a little silhouette thing going on here, so, as I said, it's possible to play completely in the dark, but... Not not really that comfortable to <laughs> I don't really feel like the K right now again. <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot, that's not good. Because Diddy has trouble with Clomp. I got always gotta do the rolls with Diddy. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and now I think there's a yeah, this is right here. Secret! <laughs> Just grab the barrel, walk into the wall, there we go. Uh, just gotta look for the red bear. I mean, uh, look for the red balloons on the barrels. Uh, there we go! That uh, transition when it flips and turns into the camera, you know, when you turn from left to right and it does that white flash. That's a nice little touch, but it's pretty disorienting in its own way. Like, like, like watch this, look, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, by the way, these are mincers, although you don't get the name of these until later on in the game. I'm just mentioning that they're mincers now just because. <laughs> oh shoot, that's not good. You're going to bounce me into a mincer. They're kind of like grinders in the Mario series, actually. In fact, oh shoot! <laughs> that's okay, I got the midpoint. All is well. Oop. And I've got the monkey, too. That is... Well as well, um, like, uh, you know what I, I was getting worried about with Diddy? is because Diddy cannot do anything about these guys, no matter what he does. <laughs> oh shoot, I, uh, that's not exactly what I was going for, but yeah, um, Donkey Kong can though. Oh, but there is a more invincible version of those later on, the very, very, very last level of the last levels in the game. And getting that letter N is not as hard as it looks, just wait for that N to go, I mean, just wait for the platform to go downwards. I'd say the K is harder than the N. Now, what I want to do here is conserve this barrel until, until, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Alright, can I get the letter G? Maybe. Uh, do I need to like... Oh, there we go. Just had to get it at just the right bounce, I guess. Alright, so you get the idea of these. Just keep bouncing on the claptrap. It gets faster and faster. You get more and more bananas as it gets faster and faster. Just have a good time letting it do its thing. And... Oh. Well, you gotta kind of, you know, jump on and not not entirely let it do let it do its thing. But yes, you get what I'm saying here. You'll eventually get it. I assure you. Oh, I got it. Rambi token. Woo! Victory! And I should be pooped out right by the exit. I hope. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> there you go. You know, you know, we might as well stop by over a candy save point, you know, to save our game, because that's what we're that's what we're here for. Yes, you're here to save our game. <laughs> yeah, saving. Sixty-two <sighs> percent, doing pretty well. <laughs> All right, moving on. Funky's flights got any new dialogue? Mm hmm. Uh, is that it? That's it. Because if that's it, I I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. It's fair enough. Rope bridge rumble. Begin. I will grab that monkey. Well, I should say have that monkey tail along with me. Oh, uh, I don't know if you could see on the on the screen here, and you definitely won't be able to see on your TV set because there's some cutoff on the CRT TVs. But there's a bonus area right down here. So, although, like, if you're not playing this on an emulator or an HD TV, uh, and you probably shouldn't be playing it on an HD TV because of display lag, 
should be going for like a BenQ gaming monitor or something like that. Uh, you'll be able to see at the very bottom of the screen there that there's a bonus barrel there, but otherwise you're not going to be seeing a single thing. And Winky's over here as well, as you can tell. Uh, I'll, I'll grab that K, I dare to grab that K. And I will go under you, I dare to go under you, and I will bounce off of you. <laughs> you can skip a lot of things with Winky on this level. Like, I could pretty much just jump over that entirely, actually. Like, I don't need, don't need the barrel, I mean, the, don't need the bouncy tire at all in the center. And I think there's one more bonus area, it's like right near the end. I don't, I don't feel like getting off a of Winky, but you can see how this is done. Just roll off the edge into the letter, then jump out of it, uh, jump into it. Same with that banana bunch. And letter N, bounce off the tire at the right place. Uh, over here. Oh shoot, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, when you get hit and you're uh, like when you're in momentum on a critter. Oops. And yeah, you just kind of keep you keep keep that momentum after the hit, and then that usually makes you fly into holes or something. It kind of sucks. <laughs> so. That is a thing that you gotta look out for. You gotta, if you're gonna take a hit, take a hit at the right place, is what I'm saying. I guess you could say. Uh, well, that's all right though. We are golden, like that letter N. Now, um, these sorts of sections aren't as hard as they look. You just gotta wait for that tire to be in the right spot before you do your first jump on top of it. Otherwise, you're gonna have some difficulties with the whole tire movement thing and yeah it's it's kind of something that you gotta look out for but it's not that big of a deal uh i think there's a bonus area coming up right here yes where that banana was and what do i need here i don't know i'm just gonna go for a winky oh shoot well i got nothing <laughs> that's all right though it's all right don't don't feel too bad donkey kong there's not much more of the stage to go. In fact, this is it right here! Ugh! Yeah! <laughs> I think I got all the bonus areas, right? Yeah, I got them all. How do you like those apples? So, it looks like I have enough time for the boss. Really naughty rampage. It's it's It looks like it's the same thing, but it's not. It's got that jump after you hit him once, and then it does two jumps after you hit him twice, and then it does more erratic side jumps. So it's, it's a lot more aggressive than it was before, but it's still just as predictable as it ever was. <laughs> poor naughty. Poor, I should say poor, really naughty. <laughs> the bosses are getting a little harder, I guess. <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> Creme Croc Industries Incorporated is something that I think I'll be starting in the next part. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you then.